Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another review for one of my favorite Mac OS apps, and it is called Magnet. And it is a window manager for your Mac and allows you to move around different windows that you have open into a more manageable style. And it is very useful for whenever you're working on work-related projects or even at home. It just depends on how many windows that you have open. And this is a very, very useful tool that I've been using for a few years now. And there is a special pricing offer right now, and it's only 99 cents. So please go out and purchase this little app. It is very useful. I can't recommend it enough. And I'll go into a few more details why it's definitely worth that. And if you scroll down on this home page that they created for this app, there's a lot of useful shortcuts that I found to be very helpful when first starting out and using this app. And my highly used shortcuts are control alt enter, which is a shortcut that makes your screen into the full width and full height of your currently viewed desktop. And that for me, is like the most the most useful because I hate seeing apps open up in these random sizes. And I'll go ahead and demonstrate that a little later on. And the other shortcut that I find the most useful is Control Alt G, which moves over your window to the third portion on the right hand side of the screen. And I mainly use that for a terminal based app called Hyper made by the folks over at Zite, and I'll go ahead and demonstrate that as well in a little bit. And if you want to find out even more shortcuts, they have the most useful ones displayed here on their page, which is awesome. And if you're looking for a place to go buy this app, it is available in the macOS App Store. And also, if you click on the link of their page down here at the bottom, it'll take you there. And it's once again, only 99 cents. I believe I paid $4.99 for it a few years ago. And it's honestly the one of the use, most useful programs that I've purchased for my Mac. So now I'm gonna demonstrate the shortcuts that I mentioned earlier on in the video. And my favorite one being Control-Alt-Enter, which makes the app or window that you're currently in full screen and it adjusts all the way to the height and the width of the size of the monitor that you're using. I find this very, very useful, especially when using tools like Figma or Photoshop, whichever design program that you prefer. This is like one of my favorite shortcuts to use whenever opening up a new window. And I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate the next one that I use the most. And that's for a little app called Hyper which is a terminal that opens up to the right here. It kind of remembers how I set it up previously. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drag it out here, kind of show you how it works. So I open this a lot next to my text editor. I've been using VS Code made by Microsoft a lot alongside this little guy. And so once you hit Control Option G, and that aligns the window to the right hand side of the monitor that you're viewing and I find this very helpful because I use this hyper terminal alongside Visual Studio Code. And this allows me to look at the code and also change the directories in the terminal whenever I need to move up, move down, or navigate to a new project. And I've been using this a lot lately. So this is my second most used shortcut. And there's a few other options as well, which you can click on the icon here for magnet in your top area of the window and it gives you a very cool list here that way you don't have to remember everything you can set windows to the left right up or down top left top right bottom left you can do all these here and again for 99 cents this is a bargain to be able to do all this within your mac and a few other things about magnet is that you're able to drag windows similar to how windows made by microsoft used to you can drag here for a full screen you can drag to the right to fill up the right hand side 
it's very similar to the functionality that we saw earlier on in the 2000s for Windows. And this brings it to the Mac. So again, it's very cool to be able to add this functionality only for a dollar. And I really hope that you enjoyed this quick review of one of my favorite apps for Mac OS.